uh, we have in here this mechanism and our objective today is going to be to build this mechanism in working model 2d but not only that we want to make it work but we want to find the the accelerations of um, of a couple of points of the point a and of course of the point d um, the first thing we got to do is to work out the velocity the kinematics first so the velocity of the point b for this uh, rotation about a fixed point c is in the uh, vertical direction upwards for the point b but you see here is an interesting situation because the bar a b d is a rigid body it follows that there is no <coughs> relative displacement between a and b and so wherever b goes at this instant of time a has to follow and so the velocity of a and the velocity of b are the same if the velocity of two points on a rigid body are the same it follows that the body is in translation so no angular velocity for the body there's an angular velocity for bc but at this at this position but not for ad so in here you have the velocity of the okay the, the first of all the, we calculate the angular velocity of this is going to be 45 rpm and we convert it into radians per second so the velocity of b is 45 times 4 18.85 upwards we determine that the angular velocity of of the a is zero and so and here we move on to the accelerations so in this in this case the acceleration of of this point of b is the acceleration of c plus the relative acceleration of b with respect to c so in this case um, the angular velocity is bc so um, alpha sub b and it's constant so alpha sub bc is zero and alpha of the point b the tangential acceleration of b is also zero but the normal acceleration exists and that is omega square you know miss omega cross omega cross r in vector form or in algebra form omega squared times r which is what we have in here now the acceleration under plane motion the acceleration of um, we are going to find the accelerations considering this bar and consider the fact that we know the acceleration of b so what we're going to do is to let me see if i find it here is there's two graphs superimposed on on this but let's just work out with one at a time so the first one is the acceleration of b is like this the acceleration of a you only know the direction but the acceleration of the point a is the acceleration of b plus the acceleration of a with respect to b so this is the tangential acceleration and the um, yeah tangential acceleration in here so if you look at the vector equation you say um, the acceleration of a is the acceleration of b which we knew we, from the prior analysis plus the acceleration of a with respect to b and then you decompose it into the vertical components in there um, sorry you right. said that you had no no tangential acceleration right that b b has no tangential acceleration right because omega is constant that's why so here the acceleration of the point D now is obtained 
as, as we know the acceleration of V plus the acceleration of D with respect to V. So that means the acceleration of V translation with V plus rotation about V. The acceleration of D. Yeah, so the acceleration of this, the acceleration of this plus omega cross r, which is this uh, acceleration of d with respect to v. Yeah. Having done this, I would just maybe reduce it in size and put it the solution away for reference. See, there we go. We're going to reduce it in size. But I am going to come to working model 2D. And I need the solution of this. So use your creativity here, how you work out with working model 2D because let's see let's go back to the original picture this line here yeah this is what we need okay oh i am covering the menus let's just keep it over here there you go. Um, you can build this many ways, but I think what what we need to do is to establish what logic logically makes sense to me is to draw one link here. We would represent this one, but we also know um, another we need another bigger link so i what i would do is um, create uh, one like that uh, from here you could actually turn turn it on them but but you need to make it with the right dimensions um, to make it fit. And that's what I'm telling. I was just saying that I would let you do that. What I would do is go like this and using uh, one of the constraints to rotate it about the point, I could actually build this in like this. Huh? How is that? Hopefully this is all right. Um, we need to put this kind of joint, pin joint between these two guys. But also I need a pin joint here. And now I should be able to move it, see? Yeah. And I need the ground to be. I need I need this this thing. If I attach it to the ground, uh, it's not gonna move. So I I need to do a slider like this. Um, Kid slide joint. I am gonna pass this like that. See. And now watch this. Uh, what, how come it's not the one to obey me? What? I don't. I don't know. Something is funny here. 
Oh, I didn't erase it. Oh, bad boy. I might have not erased anything. Mm. Let's see, what are we doing here? We need kit slot jump. I'm sorry, what? Another This one. Oh, because they are, okay, well, let's see. Okay, let's see. Ah, yeah. See, this is really cool. You, you could actually test it to see if it's gonna work. Um, thanks. Do you guys know the correction he just made for me? Why that works? <coughs> No? Okay, this guy here, this one, is a cheat slot jump. This is as if you put the, the little square piece, and that square piece is going to be a number. The slot needs to follow that. That we will use like an application system that we want to keep it straight. But not on this one. This one is, is a finger. It actually should, should be flexible. What was happening, the reason it wouldn't let me go fast is I was actually bending the, the pin. The, it's not a pin, one square. It's like twisting the little square on, on the key and, 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 and the square. That will not work. So everybody here? No. That might be this computer. Yes, it works okay, Change the dimensions because it might be a little interference. But then you will have to be in another computer. This is unique for this. So let me see if everybody is having the same problem. Oh, I'm doing this video here. Bad boy. <laughs> Abandon the. the uh, okay, we might have to. Okay, so now we see that the mobility is okay. And uh, to make it work, I would just put a motor in here. You know, this motor in here, it's like there. Instead, and this, this could actually work. See, I, I can actually make this run but you can see it's going in the opposite direction that we want. So we double click on this one. And instead of this, I'll just put the minus sign here and close this and say run. And now it does it the right way. Okay. The program that it's is very, um, this is a very smart program because while the solution we have is in one position, it's going to figure out the acceleration of these points of all the positions as it goes around. So watch this. What I would do is, first of all, I want to know about this point, right? So I'm just gonna say, define the vector uh, well, first of all, I need to I need to select it. You say define the vector in this case the acceleration, yeah. And 
I need this point over here too. So uh, I need to have a, a, this is a point element. I'm just gonna put the point D over here. I say, okay, that is the point and I need the, the acceleration vector also. So watch this, if I do this, uh, look at the vectors. Isn't that wonderful? The computer has has calculated those. And uh, we could get, uh, not only the acceleration, but I can put the velocity vectors in here. And we will have the um, both at the same time. I, I would like that. And in here it says define the velocity vector. And guess what's going to happen? I'm going to move it down here. It's going to plot both of those. Do you see what happens? You have the, the green ones. 